February 10th, St. Scholastica, Abbess. Of this saint, but little is known on earth, save that she was the very pious sister of the great patriarch St. Benedict, and that, under his direction, she founded and governed a large community near Monte Cassino. St. Gregory sums up her life by saying that she devoted herself to God from her childhood, and that her pure soul rose to God in the likeness of a dove, as if to show that her life had been enriched with the fullest gifts of the Holy Ghost. Her brother was accustomed to visit her once every year before Lent, and she could not be sated or wearied with the words of grace which flowed from his lips. On his last visit, after a day passed in spiritual conversation, the saint, knowing that her end was near, said, My brother, I pray you leave me not this night, but discourse with me till dawn on the bliss of those who see God in heaven. St. Benedict would not break his rule for the sake of natural affection, but his sister bowed her head and prayed, and there rose a storm so violent that St. Benedict could not return to his monastery and they passed the night, as she had prayed, in heavenly conversation. Three days later, St. Benedict saw in a vision the soul of St. Scholastica going up in the likeness of a dove into heaven. Then he gave thanks to God for the graces he had given her and for the glory which had crowned them. When she died, St. Benedict, as well as her spiritual daughters and the monks sent by their patriarch to her conventual church, mingled their tears and prayed, Alas, alas, dearest mother, to whom dost thou live? leave us now. Pray for us to Jesus, to whom thou art gone. Then they devoutly celebrated Holy Mass, commending her soul to God, and her body was born to Monte Cassino, where her brother lay her in the tomb he had prepared for himself. It was written that they all mourned her many days. Finally, St. Benedict said, Weep not, my sisters and brothers, for assuredly Jesus has taken her before us to be our aid and defense against our enemies, that we may remain standing on the evil day and be perfect in all things. Her death occurred in about the year 543. Our relatives must be loved in and for God, otherwise the purest affection becomes inordinate and is so much taken from him.